to introduce all the way from Cripple Creek, Colorado, country music legend, Wilson Dixon. How you doing, folks? It's, uh, it's nice to be here in New Zealand, or uh, as we say in America, where? <laughs> I love New Zealand. I love what you've done with the place. It's beautiful. And, you know, I love the way that everyone gets a fair go here. You know, he gets a chance. Although I think, uh, I think you've gone a bit far with the bumpy white lines along the side of the motorways uh, for the blind drivers. <laughs> Call me old-fashioned, but I don't think blind people should be allowed to drive. No matter how good their hearing is. What are they, bats? I mean, I'm not prejudiced against blind folks. You know, my, uh, my grandmother, old Mar Ruggsgrugger, uh, she, for a while, was a seeing-eye human for a blind dog. You know, so I can see where those folks are coming from, you know. Even if they can. <laughs> I sing stuff you guys. Uh, this song, uh, uh, it's off my second album, uh, Introducing Wilson Dixon. This, uh, this, uh, this song, it's inspired by Billy Ray Cyrus. Yeah, I don't like Billy Ray Cyrus. <laughs> How can you trust a man with two haircuts at the same time? Make a goddamn decision, Billy Ray. He wrote that song, Achy Breaky Heart, you know the one? About a heart that blows up and kills him. What a ridiculous notion. So this song's about real things. It's about being a man. It's about... Uh, it's all about self-reflection. It's called the mirror. <laughs> Sing along if you know the words. I knew of a man who lived on a mountain Went mad and thought his own pee was a fountain That man was me I knew of a man who lived in a cave Night it got dark and he wasn't very brave So he moved back in with his parents <laughs> That man was me I knew of a man who lived in a house Burned it to the ground to collect the insurance then he realized he wasn't insured <laughs> Now his parents don't have a house <laughs> That man was me I knew of a man who swallowed a fly I don't know why he swallowed a fly Perhaps he'll die Although I doubt it have to be a pretty big fly <laughs> There comes a time in every man's life When he must look into the mirror I'm not talking about the mirror You might look into on a Saturday night Before you go out I'm talking about the proverbial mirror The mirror of truth and justice You look into that mirror You ask yourselves Have I been a good man? Have I been a wise man? A fair man? A kind man Have I been a man at all? <laughs> Am I a man? Am I a woman? <laughs> Do I want to be a woman? <laughs> it's only a phone call away <laughs> Get some hormone replacement therapy And Bob's your auntie So you're looking at that mirror, you're looking deep into the eyes of the man looking back at you, you ask this question, who are you? If that man answers back, you're probably not looking into a mirror at all. <laughs> you 
You're looking deep into the eyes of a man who happens to be in your bathroom. <laughs> what he's doing there, I can't tell you. Some things you gotta work out for yourselves. I knew of a man taught a bird how to sing. Trouble is the bird already knew how to sing. He took credit where credit wasn't due. That man could be one of you. I knew of a man who tried to forget things that hadn't even happened yet. That man could be me. Let's wait and see. Thanks for sticking around, folks. You guys are great. Thank you. See you later. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage the future super mayor of Auckland, Mr. Ewan Gilmore. Um, I'm very excited to be here tonight again, a gala opening, but this one's very special for me because I have given up smoking. Yeah, just, just the cigarettes. <laughs> I'm on 30 joints a day now. <laughs> Not easy to give up though, is it? I tried heaps of times to give up. I tried, like when I was in England, I tried giving up there. Uh, I tried hypnosis, um, didn't work for me. I still smoked. Of course, every time I had a cigarette, thought I was a chicken. <laughs> See, and being a Kiwi, you see, I say to everybody, oh yeah, I was in England, I was there for 18 months, a year and a half I lived in England. And the truth of the matter is, I only lived in England for six months, but you know, when you're a Kiwi in England, you times everything by three. <laughs> Man, you should have seen the size of my penis in England. <laughs> not easy to give up though, smoke's not easy to give up. Anybody else here giving up? Just put your hand up, giving up, yeah? Good effort, man, it's, it's not easy, is it? Actually, I asked that question. I did a show last week in Hamilton for a company called LIC, which is Livestock Improvement Company. Basically, what they do is artificial insemination. And I said, put your hands up if you're given smoking. <laughs> Not easy to give up, though. I tell you what, I got angry at myself. Like, I just get into arguments with myself. I just got so angry just giving up smoking about nothing. I even just about punched myself out one night. But man, the makeup sex. <laughs> Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I start arguments with myself now on purpose. <laughs> Just so I can have some makeup sex. I can't stay angry at you. <laughs> You've been working out because you're looking hot. <laughs> you know, I used the patches to give up. That's what I used. Um, they worked for me. Of course, I had to stop using patches about three months ago because I got booked for a gig in Whanganui. <laughs> I thought they wouldn't it be cool if they had patches for other things. Like, you know, say like you've got your nicotine patch there, it seeps nicotine into your system all day. Imagine if they had patches for other things like, say they had the alcohol patch. <laughs> That'd be cool, eh? You stick that puppy on before you go to work in the morning. <laughs> you get the morning smoko time, you're gonna go into the smoko room, you're gonna go, hey, you know what this job needs? Karaoke! <laughs> You get to lunchtime, that, that alcohol patch has been working all day so far. You get to lunchtime, you're going to go in there and you're going to go, oh, fuck you, aren't they? <laughs> you fucking never like me, have you? <laughs> get your afternoon tea, come on, I'll take you all on. <laughs> you get to the end of the day, you walk in there and it's just, oh, I love you, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you can have patches for anything, ladies and gentlemen. It'd be awesome. You can have them for marijuana. Turns out most people in my neighbourhood already have a marijuana patch. <laughs> Thank you very much, very much. Enjoy the festival. Thank you in for fairness. <laughs>